So tonight I want to tame a bear. And the problem with that is that I am on an island that pretty much has no vegetation. Pretty much none of this grass is pickable and the little bit that is doesn't have any fruits or vegetables. So I came up with my own solution that I'm sure many people have used as well. I'm not claiming to be some genius, but for anybody who doesn't think of this, the way I tame bears when I don't have materials is a shovel. This can seem kind of daunting for some people, but I literally just shovel the ground until I get potatoes. I'm getting a lot of fiber tonight. It's usually much easier. Oh, two potatoes. I'm actually going to put the potatoes on my bar so that I can see them. And I'm just ignoring the water depleted thing. It's fine. So as you can see, I'm already up to 16 potatoes. I usually try to get up to like 80, but if there's taming rates on your server or you're on official during a special promotion, it's usually way less to tame. It also depends what level bear you're getting. And you are going to get tired doing this, so just take breaks. You might need a second shovel, which is also fine. The level of the barrel determine how many shovels you need. Because of how many potatoes you need. My shovel's under half damage now. And of course, if your rates are lower, it's going to take you way longer. But it's better than searching the globe for honey when you don't have a ship yet. So this is a way that you can get a bear fairly easily if you are stuck in a situation where the vegetation isn't great. Potatoes are also good because they're pretty much, I think, second for taming to honey for bears. So you're not going to really lose efficiency. So I think I should be good to do this with 40 potatoes. The only problem is I haven't found a bear yet. Lots of horses and check my inventory. Now most people have tamed a bear in Atlas, but if you haven't, it's pretty easy. You do have to have tier two taming in order to do it. There's Beast Mastery two. And to make the saddle, you also have to be tier two. Which it's not that many points. Oh, I think I see a bear over on that island. I do. I'm also hungry, but I don't want to eat my potatoes. Now you'll probably care about the level of your bear. I'm just going to tame him whatever he is. Oh, she, my apologies. Oh good, a chicken egg. I don't have to starve. Free food. See, sometimes the game will just provide. And the way I trap bears is with billboards. I think this is pretty common. If you don't use them, you definitely should. They're low cost. They're easy to plop down. You don't have to trigger the bear at all to aggro it. I usually just kind of wait till it's
That cow got the best of me. You can pick them up and just rearrange them. Honestly, this part, even though it's stress-free, it kind of like stresses me out. I know it shouldn't, but it does. I'm trying to find like a sweet spot where she's not gonna grab me but my billboard placements not making that easy she hasn't hurt me yet but just in case she kills me I'm definitely not being careful enough. Hopefully I'm safe here. <laughs> She's already at 35 percent with 99.9 .9 taming effectiveness, although she's level 3, so that doesn't really matter. The nice thing with the potatoes is that you don't lose very much. So honestly, if you don't want to go get honey, just grow potatoes eventually. My health is low, but oh well. Already at 70%, 82%. These rates are crazy right now. And I am taming this level 3 bear on official. So one more feed and she should be ours. There we go. I'm gonna name her Lily. It's my cat's nickname. Okay, I do have a saddle, good. And personally, I always get rid of the billboard spam. Some people don't, it drives me nuts. Like guys, just keep the servers cleaner. You don't need to leave your garbage everywhere. Let's keep Atlas clean, let's care about the environment. Now Lily is a a level four bear, 
she got one extra level. Which, hey, that's, that's one extra. That's pretty good. And obviously you'd need a little bit more potatoes if you were doing a higher level one. But with the good percentage points, that wasn't so bad. Like, I'm only down to 27 and I only used one shovel. But you just kind of have to adjust your needs based on the server rates you have. And this is not an actual base. This was like our first little starter house this season. And I just put some more walls back on it for recording tonight. It does have room to keep Lily safe until, you know, she's completely deleted by the wipe in a couple days. So. Hope you enjoyed taming Lily and discovering or maybe just reviewing how you can get a bear when there's no vegetation. Maybe you already knew this and you're just making fun of me. That's okay too. So I just want to let people know about my new website. It's called atlasthegame.com and this is a social media and forum community for Atlas players. We also have a Discord that you can join. And the point of this website is so that members can share bug discussions, game suggestions, find companies, share game tips and guides, and also look at the feedback of other players and give the developers of the game a place where they can see the consolidated ideas that different players have. Now, if you go to game suggestions, for example, under feedback, you can see all of these ideas that have been added. And basically what happens is people can upvote just like they would on Reddit and other social media. People can comment and you even have your own profile. You can post updates on your timeline like you would other social media and share with other players your in-game name and what server you're playing on as well as other things like websites. We also encourage videos and streams, show and tell, recruitment, and all other Atlas content. And I hope you join us on the site and I hope we can actually give valuable feedback and get this game to a place that everyone can enjoy.